is the morning after my last video and I'm still in bed and it's like 9 a.m. There's somebody right here. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to do like just have you follow me around all day today. I'm not going to do much. It is rainy and just terrible outside still. I was just laying here in bed trying to think of how to say good morning in Spanish. I can't remember. I'm thinking it's buenos dias. Ugh. Dogs on boats. I just got in from taking the dog for a walk. I only have leftovers from dinner to eat for breakfast, which is a total bummer because I really love breakfast. And I'm down to a little bit of trail mix. I'm teaching myself how to ration in case of an emergency at sea. So anyway, what I was saying earlier, I'm just going to have you follow me around and watch me do stuff. So right now I'm going to make coffee, so I'm going to move you over there. Just kidding. No, I'm not. You won't be able to see anything but my big fat back. There you go two coffee filters and now I know why I use two it's so that the coffee can stay in there longer when it's brewing so when you're out in the water you probably want a french press so by the time I go on a big trip I'm gonna have to have bigger solar panels my one little baby solar panel is not going to be enough power. Yeah, because you got to charge phones and laptops. The one thing with building, like the building trades in general, that I'm not that familiar with is the electrical part. I've tried to learn and I've done it for years, but I still, I just something, I just, there's a disconnect for me. I just can't really figure it out. I know the basic ideas, but especially with batteries, I'm going to have to try to learn that. I never really had to. Now I do. So my sister's tiny house build, we're at the electrical part. We need to run all the electricity. We're going to get some help finishing that up. And so I'll try to pay attention and learn what's going on there so that I can do it here. And please, no one tell me that I need to hire a licensed electrician to come out and do it. It's really not that hard. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying electricians aren't valuable to us and know what they're doing, but I can do it. I don't know if you guys know this, but people can do anything. It doesn't matter that I weigh 100 pounds. I can do stuff. I was just talking to my sister about that last week because I was coming to the boat and she had some stuff that she really needed to get done on her tiny house and she's talking about, well, when you get back, you can help me do this or if I could get so-and-so to help me do that. And I was just like, dude, you can do these things. If I can do it, you can do it. So I told her, what she needed to do, what tools she needed to use, what she needed to go buy, and guess what? That girl did it. She did it all by herself. Nobody helped her. 
and now she's super proud now she's like you know what I think you're right I can do anything I want to do if I just tell myself I can do it and she did so good job Kristen my coffee is almost ready and my only clean mug is the weird one that I wait for last because it's kind of shallow it's kind of spilly that's hot I'm gonna drink coffee black here's the thing about me and coffee I just started drinking coffee about a year ago and like literally I never even drank coffee at all like not even to drink a coffee and then there is actually a spider web on the rim of my cup and now guess what I drink coffee every day and I don't really even like coffee that much so there's I mean once in a while I'll get some really good coffee and then another weird coffee thing when I make coffee at home, it's the same kind of coffee. It's a little different coffee maker, but basically the same. Coffee at home, I use well water, and it's good. I mean, as far as coffee goes, it's good coffee. But when I come here to the boat, I use bottled water, and I noticed that I use distilled water, and it makes the grossest coffee. It's so acidic, and you can barely even drink it. It tastes like you're drinking poison. So I thought, well, okay, so I know somebody who works for Starbucks, and I asked him, like, what's going on with this coffee situation? And he said, it's definitely the water. It's the water you're using. So I switched to bottled spring water here at the boat, and much better. It's still kind of not the best, but I just drink it. I hope you can hear the wind outside so you can understand what I'm going through. This has me really scared for winter, guys. I am not, not, not happy in the winter here in Michigan. Next summer, if all goes well, I'm taking the boat out regularly and I learn what the heck I'm doing on this boat. Please don't freak out. I sailed another boat around everywhere last year. It was just smaller, so I do kind of know how. Um, maybe I'll take it next year, just out and down, like around Virginia, South Carolina, wherever, where it doesn't freeze. Come back, Lewis. Look what I found in the car. It's my luau crown. As most of you know, I am selling, it looks giant. It looks really big on my head. Um, I'm selling my house and I'm getting it ready to sell. So I'm getting rid of stuff in my house, just clearing it out to do work and whatever. And this thing was there. And I thought, well, I think it belongs on the boat. And now seeing it on my head on the boat, I was right. But I'm not going to wear it. Beauty lady. Very beauty lady. If you haven't watched the speed dating video, you should. There's a character, I mean, there's a guy, there's a date that is really funny. And he says, very beauty lady. And I'll just tell you right now, if you're gonna go watch that video and it's for the first time, it was supposed to have an intro and it was supposed to have an outro, me talking, explaining what was going on, but I accidentally deleted it before I got to upload it to YouTube, so it was gone forever. And long story short, it's a little awkward because you don't really know what's going on, but it's random messages that guys send me. And then I, my sister and I made just a little skit about it. It's, I think it's hilarious. She cracks me up, but who knows if you'll think it's funny or not. I will turn you guys. You are on a selfie stick. 
that is propped up by a pillow. So I was right, good morning in Spanish is buenos dias. Hasta pronto. Dang, Louis, you stink. I don't know why you would say that. I don't understand what that means. I'm practicing my vocabulario. <laughs> so I made a mistake. I started giving my dog animal cookies and he loves them and will not stop whining at me until the whole bag's gone. It's still crappy out. Check this out. Can you, wait, where is it? Ah, there it is. Look at that sail cover flapping in the wind. Eat your dog food. I'm just gonna feed them all to them right now. I'm just gonna feed them all. Why is gonna want me to get up and give them some water? I'm gonna mix the rest of this in with his dog food. Maybe he'll eat his dog food. So again, another day. Spanish, Spanish, Spanish. I know this is gonna help me someday. Someday when I sail to the Canary Islands, I'm going to be thankful that I took Spanish class. Louis ate his dog food because I mixed animal cookies in with it.